All right. Welcome, everybody, to the Red Stars' um, post-match media availability. We have Alyssa Nair, Mal Pugh, and Coach Petroselli here with us. Um, as always, if you have any questions, please use the raise your hand function, and I'll use it to call on you. Do we have any questions for either of the players or coach? Claire, go ahead. Hey guys, appreciate you guys taking the time. Congrats on a big win. Um, can you, all three of you, talk a little bit about the emotions of this week? Tough loss last week, huge emotional roller coaster tonight. How did it feel to put the ball in the back of the net and also get a clean sheet? Uh, clean sheets are always obviously, you know, a focus of ours coming in. Um, and I think, you know, for us, it was just about hitting reset a little bit this week, not getting focused and caught up on. You know, obviously we're in a little bit of a skid, but we've been in this league long enough to know that everything is a bit streaky. You've got highs and lows and you go on winning streaks and losing streaks. So um, we talked a lot about getting a response tonight and starting, you know, this last stretch of six games um, and kind of breaking the season into that. So that was our focus coming in, just looking forward um, and not getting caught up on, you know, the, the easy emotion to get caught up on from previous. And just, we want to put the ball in the back of the net and obviously, Mel did that tonight. Yuki did that tonight. Um, I thought it was a great response from the team, both offensively and defensively, and collectively. Yeah, I think that um, anytime like you, you walk away from a loss like that, I think that you have to internally reflect. And um, I think as a group, we did that. And I think it just started in training. And we wanted to have a good training week. And I think we did. And um, training obviously results in um, or translates onto the field in a game. So uh, I think it just started with our, our response and training. I, I thought the team handled themselves very well. Um, there was no panic. Uh, Alyssa told me we were going to be okay. So once she said that, I felt a lot better. Um, you know, and, and we went about our business and we stayed just focused on playing, you know, focused on playing the next game and um, obviously that, that showed up tonight. And then just a quick follow-up for, for you, Mal, specifically. It seemed like tonight was all about those partnerships, right, between you and Yuki, you and Bianca. Can you talk about coming back from CONCACAF, developing those again, and seeing that pay off tonight? Yeah, I think it took a little longer than I wanted it to. Um, but I think it honestly, just like I said before, like in training, I think it's, it's everyone. I don't think it's just me and Yuki and Bianca. I think it's, it's the group as, as a whole. And, um, I think that, yeah, it's just, everyone was clicking together and we all had the same goal in mind. So I feel like that obviously helps, um, helps in with the results. Thanks guys. Thanks Claire. <clears throat> Jeff, go ahead. Uh, thanks everybody for, for doing this. Um, Mal, maybe if I could follow up, I mean, you've talked about um, kind of having some freedom um, in, in a role, in a given role, and it looked like, you know, tonight and as well as most of the season, you've been able to kind of drift where, you know, wide where needed, um, and, and they that was a particular area maybe that um, you all took advantage of tonight. Um, how much do you feel like, you know, just in this system in general and, and tonight specifically even that you've been able to to kind of just make a call when you need to in terms of where you're going to pop up or when you're going to turn, take somebody on. Yeah, I think honestly, it, it's, it's fun for me um, because I feel like we have three great midfielders that like want the ball at their feet and in the pockets and stuff. So um, I think it, I think it really works well because I'm able to stretch in behind, make runs in behind, which I love doing, but also like coming into the pocket and being able to turn and run at players um, <clears throat> as well. So I think just, yeah, having the freedom to do that and reading off of everyone as a whole, um, it's been it's been good. Um, and Chris, just I'm wondering, um, you know, on the the um, a lot of teams have maybe played with systems formations a little bit this year. You all have been really steady in in yours, and and it's you know for the most part worked quite well. I'm just wondering if you feel like that consistency has uh, really benefited you all now that we're in this home stretch. Yeah, I think it has, um, but I I do think that. That we're seeing teams, you know, like tonight trying to max, uh, match our box, and I thought we were able to to exploit it to the point where they they had to change. Um, but I do think, you know, over the long run, we've gotten better and better at it because it is 
a little bit different. You know, it's it's not how most of these guys grew up playing. Uh, so it you know takes a little time to to adjust to all the little the little pieces of it. Thank you. Thanks, Jeff. Do we have any more questions for either Alyssa, Mal, or Chris? Claire, go ahead. Sorry, just taking up a little bit more of your guys' time. Um, I had a question for you specifically, Alyssa. You had some major saves tonight, but they were more like haymakers from distance. It seemed like those angles were at least giving you a chance at those balls. Does that mean, does that feel like the defense is working a little bit better when those are the shots that you're facing? Totally. You know, I think if that's the, if those are the opportunities that we're giving up, um, you know, obviously there's a lot of dangerous players in this league that can prove that have proven that they can score from distance. So um, obviously needs to be ready and prepared for it. But, you know, I give our back three a lot of credit. Um, they're shutting down. I thought, you know, Jess McDonald coming in, in the second half made a huge difference for Louisville. So to be able to, you know, even switch on the fly in the second half and to adjust, adjust to a completely different style of player, um, that, you know, I was, I was proud of the group for that. And, um, you know, to your point, to be, those be the opportunities that we're giving up that speaks to, you know, the commitment of the back three, the commitment to the sixes to, to defend um, and kind of force them to, to take those opportunities. And then for you, Chris, with the system, and like you said, players, or other teams getting more tape on you guys and obviously relying on certain players to have to play a lot of minutes this season, how do you guide the group through? They're going to be getting different looks. They're going to be facing different adversity, especially with like the highs and lows of the last, just the last week. Yeah, I mean, I, I think, you know, you've said all along, let's just, you know, stick to the process and focus on the next match and, and you know, work towards, work towards the next match. But, you know, I think you're right. A, a lot of people have, have played a lot of minutes, you know, given, given some of the injury situations that we had. Um, but those guys are pretty tough. Like, they, you know, I don't know, Ness and Danny, I, they've hardly ever come off the field and watch the game. They don't look too tired to me. They look pretty good. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Clay. Any other questions for Alyssa, Mal, or Chris? Uh, Ednan, go ahead. Yes, this question is for Chris. Uh, I wonder if this game was a different mentality or was it a different team? What do you think it was uh, for this victory to be 4 0? Thank you. Um, certainly, you know, at, at this point of the season, every, every win is a big win. Uh, every point's a big point. So taking three points uh, right now, um, you know, helps us. It gets us back, I think, on the right track. It gets us back feeling a little bit better about ourselves because. You know, when 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 you lose some games, you start to question, right? And and um, and everything everything seems like it's going poorly. And and you know, it's the old, it's never as good as it seems or as bad as it seems, but somewhere in in between lies reality. And and I think we were able to sort of withstand a little bit of um, adversity and 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 maybe some questioning. Um, certainly, the early goal helped us today to feel good about ourselves and, and, and get moving in the right direction. Thanks, Evnon. Uh, any other questions for Alyssa, Mal, or Chris? Uh, that looks like a no. Thank you, everybody. Uh, have fun at camp, you soon. Thank you. Thank you.